to address two things specifically. One is the bold-faced statement that we faced the largest tax increase in January in history. Now, Senator Heck knows good and well that that is going to come up in the lame duck session. There is support for continuing permanently the tax break for the middle class, those earning under $250,000 a year. There is also considerable support, I supported myself, of continuing for maybe a year or two to tax all the other tax breaks. Well, there's no consensus for that. That's just not up. I'm not going to let me finish, John. It's not it's now, Senator Heck has been on all sides of this issue, just as he is on many issues. He has said at one point that he wanted to continue the tax break for the wealthy permanently. That's the tax rate for the top 2% of people in this country, 80% of whom are millionaires. Then he kind of backed off on it and said, well, maybe we'll continue for two to five years. So he doesn't know which way he wants to go, depending on who his audience is. Talk about tax breaks for the 2%. Well, that started off originally, the party was saying that it was 5%. Then it went to 3%. Now you're right, it's only going to affect 2% of the population. And why do we have jobs going overseas? It's not because of tax breaks. It's because we have the second highest corporate tax structure in, in the industrialized world. And if we want to stay competitive, we can't be taxing those businesses when they can find cheaper labor, labor overseas.